we've reached out now and provided conf uh, presentations at conferences, both the National School Board Association Conference as well as an international conference where we were asked to write a paper and present live to Europe through telepresence on the, what we call the human experience. People are very interested in what we're doing and how we're doing it. We're proud of that and we're going to leverage it to bring more value to the community, our teachers and our students. So from small conferences to international conferences, Cisco itself has now done a, a case study where they came out and studied what we were doing to share with their clients and to share with the world how we're doing it, how we're reaching out and connecting to the world. We've also been asked uh, as the only K-12 uh, representative on the quilt, which is a national uh, regional network consortium developed. We meet in telepresence every two weeks. The reason we do this is we're networking. We are laying seeds that our students and our teachers and our parents will be able to harvest in a very short time. We've already started with the first acts. We're getting ready for acts two and three. We're reaching out to world-class institutions and minds. Quilt recently gave the first ever live national telepresence conference. A variety of institutions uh, were on here to hear the presenters. What were, what were the presenters doing and where were they taking us? And why are they taking us there and how are they doing it? Dr. Lee got to experience that uh, live telepresence sessions. You see the universities. Our focus was on what is near and dear to us, which is the human experience of technology and helping learning and teaching. What was interesting at this conference is there was, there was Harvard University, there was Duke University, and there was Paradise Valley right between the two of them. And they wanted to hear what we say. They loved what we had to say. We're helping to lead in a national way with this technology. And that's something that our teachers should be proud of because they're the ones showing us the path. So we're reaching out in conferences. We're now a, an international test site for developing uh, on the National Lambda Rail for reaching out carrier exchanges to British Telco. We've now successfully connected with AT&T. I want to not only connect with universities and research, but I want to connect with businesses for mentoring and what can we learn from each other. Telefonica, Central America, South, uh, South America, uh, Telestra, um, uh, which is uh, Australia, Tata, which is Middle East and um, India, China, these kinds of things to reach out to the world. We're, we're now an official test site. That brings value through the networking being on the front. It brings value to our community. K-12 principals and teacher leaders in Australia have asked to visit with us. They're going through a massive national infrastructure upgrade where telepresence is going to be a cornerstone of their infrastructure upgrade. Guess what? We want to connect with Australia. We want our students and our teachers to connect to them and we want them to connect with us in rich ways that are economical. National Lambda Rail is now carefully watching us and promoting us what we're doing. We're helping to lead the way. And again, while we should feel good about that, the real reason is that allows us to leverage what we've done in the past for what we need to do in the future. It provides the connections that we need as we continue to, to cultivate world-class thinkers. I can't um, tell you enough that, that we've got a couple of years to leverage this. We have to move quick. It is a new dawn. There are now more K-12s on telepresence. There's units in Massachusetts, Texas, New York, California. We continue to leverage it. We plant the seeds and we'll be able to harvest the gain. Arizona, we, we are having conversations. We're trying to encourage our Arizona uh, politically uh, elected leaders. Uh, everything from the governor's office to the education chair of the House and the Senate have been out, had telepresence sessions with our teachers, talking about and encouraging um, our elected leaders to build the infrastructure of today that's going to pave the way for tomorrow. We're reaching out and we hope to soon have boys and girls clubs connected with us for after our bells. The learning continues. Our kids go to boys and girls clubs after the bells. Boys and girls clubs needs instruction. 
let's talk, let's, let's, let's collaborate together. We reach out to organizations, international organizations on autism and related disorders. What is the current research? What are we doing? How can we get better at what we're doing? We're reaching out and having serious discussions with uh, SACNET, which is for rural communities. How can rural communities participate in these ultra high performance networks?